Hey guys, so it's that time again. I am going to be testing another kit from Wish and this time it is a dip nail kit. At the end of this video, I will have a quick update on how the gel kit lasted, but for now, let's get into this. So I ordered this one from Wish. A lot of you have been asking me to order ones from AliExpress and I was initially going to get a dip nail kit from AliExpress, but it took so long to even get my order accepted and this one from Wish was gonna come in like a week. <laughs> so I got this one instead, but I still have one from AliExpress on the way. So here's this one from Wish. I could not find a dip kit that came with tips or anything else other than just the powders and the bases and activators and stuff like that. So I am going to have to prep my nails with other items. But other than that, we will use this for the nail itself. So let's just kind of go through what you get with this. So for $11, you get a base coat, an activator, and a top coat. And I did get three different powders. These colors actually look really pretty. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it has all these nice little glitters in here. This one, it looks like a really pretty rose gold. And then just a lighter pink. Then of course you get the base activator and top coat. So I am going to put tips on my nails and prep them as I normally do. I will go over quickly what I'm going to do with that, but if you want to skip ahead to just this kit, I will put the time like somewhere here. I did just take off my last set of nails. I soaked them off so they are pretty dry right now, which is why they look like this. But really quickly, I'm just going to rough up the surface of my nail. I don't need to do much because they are already uh, pretty uh, rough. <laughs> but I just wanna make sure I get right around the cuticle and stuff so that these ones do not lift. Quick little update on the nail that was attacked by the dryer. It is doing much better. It's almost fully grown out. Today, I am switching it up. I'm not using my normal nail tips. I'm going to do some shorter and I think a little bit more square nails. I'm hearing you guys with wanting a little bit more variety in the shape and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be using these tips right here. These ones are just clear, but I am going to do them kind of square and not as long as normal. So this will be a little bit more of a realistic nail tutorial for most people opposed to uh, like these babies over here. And I'm just going to size up these nails right here. All right, so I got those. Now I'm going to glue them on. You could always shape them up before you put them on. Really quickly before I do that, I'm going to put a dehydrator on my nails. I don't know how I almost spaced that. I'm not doing these ones super, super long today because you definitely can do long nails with a dip powder, but a dipping powder is definitely better for short to medium length nails. I'm gonna be marking a little thing right here so that I stay in frame this time and hopefully you guys can tell me if that helps or not because sometimes when I'm doing my nails, I wanna do them really close up to my face and I'm not in a frame on camera. So this is me trying to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. Wow, that's the worst. Tell me if this is too distracting or whatever, but this will make sure that I can place my hand right on there and I am in focus. All right, so I'm gonna cut these down a bit. Okay, I, it's really hard for me not to do them super long. So here, is that fair? And then I'm just going to File these in just a bit so they're not super square. What I really hate with filing tips is it always sort of smells like burnt rubber. <laughs> so normally I don't file down where the tip meets the real nail, but I like to with dip nails because you're basically just painting on and dipping and you will see that ridge unless you are able to cover it really good. So I just want to mesh those together. And then now I'm going to put on some primer. 
just on your actual nail. Um, okay. <laughs> so I was just pulling these out and uh, here's the base coat. This activator has nothing in it. I don't know if it ever had anything in it. I don't know if it evaporated. I might have a spare activator from another dip kit somewhere. I didn't notice until now because everything's clear. Um, okay, so no activator, I guess. Uh, I guess that's, you know, what you get when you buy things off of Wish. Looks like the top coat is in there though. Well, I'm just gonna get on with it though. So here is the base coat. The base coat for dip polish is usually honestly just some type of glue or I think resin or something like that. I know a lot of, you know, real nail techs and stuff don't like it. I personally do like it. I feel like a lot of the time they last a long time probably because it's uh, like glue or whatever, but I find that it does last quite a while. So a lot of the time with other dip kits, you'll get a base slash top powder, but these ones you only get the color. So there's a couple different ways to do it. You can dip your entire nail in or you can powder it over like this because, okay. Really, I feel like none of this is working out. Um, I'm going to uh, glue this top on. I think I'm gonna try to see if I can do that. Hold up. Okay, I think I fixed it. So with this, because you wanna build up the apex, you're gonna wanna start about halfway like this. You don't want to do it all the way to the bottom and you want to work sort of quick because this is like i said basically glue most of the time and it will dry so i'm just going to dip it right in here and i'm gonna do some other nails while that one dries and just you can definitely <coughs> sort of tell when it is sort of a glue because the smell is really, really strong and it almost feels like it's gonna burn your nose hairs off. That's what it feels like to me anyway. And then I'm gonna go over the entire nail after I did that one half. I do recommend brushing off the excess powder because this can sort of clump up when you're brushing over the top of where you've already dipped. And obviously, as usual, I don't know if all of this stuff from Wish is 100% safe. That's just something you're gonna have to decide for yourself if you do choose to order any nail stuff from Wish. You do wanna be careful <laughs> with the stuff that you put on your nails, but you know, I like to take one for the team. Spooning it on like this can definitely make it smoother because you can see on this nail right here, when you push down in the powder, it can sort of push all of this liquid up and sort of make it lumpy opposed to when I spoon it on. I think I'm gonna do the accent nail with this pink right here. I think it's more of a rose and gold. I think it'll be really pretty. It does look really pretty. Same thing on this one, half and then full. And then I would recommend doing at least two full coats on the nail. It just depends also how thick you want these and how long the nail is. They need to be a tiny bit thicker if you're doing a little bit longer nails. The gold isn't really showing up a lot in this pink. I wonder if when we activate it, it will, but when it soaks in, you really can't see the gold, which would be a shame. I think with these, I am going to do a thin third coat just because it sort of seems like when I file them down, they could get a little thin. Okay. 
Okay, so here they are so far. Definitely a little chunky. Uh, definitely can use some cleaning up. I'm gonna go search and hopefully find an activator. So with a lot of past dip kits I've used, I've always filed them before I put the activator on because once you put the activator on, they get really, really hard. But these are pretty sticky. So I'm going to put this activator from the Serendipity dip kit on since this one is um, empty. I'm assuming that this activator will work even though it's not the same brand, I am hoping anyway. As short as these nails are, they're definitely not my uh, cleanest job. Okay, so now I'm going to file them into shape. Okay, so even after the activator and waiting a couple minutes, they're still really soft and like malleable. So I'm gonna let them dry for maybe another five to 10 minutes so I can file them without it all like clumping off. So I'll be back. Okay, so it's sort of crumbling a little bit. I don't know if I had their activator, if it would work better, but if that happens, just literally put more activator on, I guess, because it, that means it's not like fully dried or cured or whatever you want to call this process okay so here are the nails i decided i just had to stop filing i keep getting these weird chunks that keep coming off and no matter how much activator i put on it just doesn't seem to stop chunking off so i don't know if that's something that wouldn't have happened if i used the activator that came with the kit i'm putting on this final layer of activator in hopes that everything will harden up a little bit because these nails are feeling a tiny bit flimsy, which I think is really weird considering especially how short they are. So I am just going to have to leave the little bit of lumpiness like it is because I don't think that I'll be able to get it 100% smooth. So now I'm gonna put this top coat on with a lot of the dip, <sighs> again. Okay, with a lot of these kits, it won't be a normal top coat. It'll be like a really, really hard. Oh yeah, you see how sticky that is? What is happening? Like I was saying, hard top coat. It's not like polish and it's not quite like a gel since you don't cure it. And a lot of the time you'll get a brush softener because after you use this, the brush will stick together. It's almost like more glue. It's really strange. And since you don't get a brush softener with this, I imagine you can get maybe a couple uses before you're probably trying to break off the top because it won't come off. And voila, here are the nails. I'm honestly really disappointed in these colors. This looks just like a plain white with nothing special about it. Inside here, I don't know if you guys can see, it looks like there's iridescent glitters and then the nail looks like nothing is happening. And then I feel the same way with this pink because look at the pretty gold in that and it's nothing like that on the nail. Overall, I think I'm actually pretty disappointed in this kit. It is $11 and I think that I've gotten bigger kits with not as many missing pieces or not as many broken items and better quality for around the same price. So while this kit technically does work, I don't think it is the best one to get. I will link a better dip kit below that I have tried before, the Serendipity one. You can even get them at Walmart or you used to be able to at least. And I think that one is much better than this one. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will get into the update on the gel kit now. So while these were my favorite nails that came out, they did peel off actually kind of quick. They lasted a couple days before one broke and that totally can be me with not putting them 
thick enough or the structure as good, it is a lot easier to mess up with gel. So unless you are really, really good at the structure of your nail, I probably wouldn't recommend that kit unless you want to just get all the colors of the gel and everything like that. I really did like that it came with all of those colors and I like that I have all those colors now, but I don't think as far as the nail itself goes, that is the best option, especially since it did not come with a primer. I do feel like that did contribute to my nails not sticking as well because I did not use one. I probably should have like I normally do, but because it did come with a base coat, I decided against it and that was probably my fault. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you like when I test out these different nail kits and if you have anything else you want me to test out, please leave a suggestion below. Thank you guys and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.